you wouldn't have the ability to take the best part of the monastery with you when you go back. And part of that is a skill, learning how to stay centered with the breath, centered inside your body. And part of it is a sense of values. We get out in the outside world and there's an awful lot of values around money and getting things done quickly, things that can be measured in numbers. And you have to remember the most important things in life can't be measured by numbers. You know, they try to measure happiness on one to ten, but it's a totally meaningless scale. What you want is a happiness that you know is secure, and that doesn't have anything to do with numbers at all. So try to keep that attitude in mind, that the numbers of the world fly around, all the digits fly around. But you're going to stay still in the center. And things go up and down in the world. They have gain and then they have loss. They have status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things go around and around and around. Even the Buddha was subjected to a lot of criticism. Yet his heart wasn't moved by that. He was praised and his heart wasn't moved by that either. That's the important part. If you're moved by praise, then you're going to be moved by criticism. So you have to have that sense of a still center inside where things can go up and down in the world, but your mind and your heart don't have to go up and down with them. That's when you can live safely in the world and you've taken the best part of the monastery with you. It's nice to be at the end of the road, surrounded by the chaparral. You can't take that back. That's going to stay right here. But you can take the skills. You can take the values. That way you have a little monastery inside wherever you go.